welcome back to study with Maymuna. So in today's lesson, I will be just sharing quick notes on science, a um, few chapters that I'm going to share. So here are the chemical reactions and the rate of chemical reactions. Just have a quick glance. What is a chemical change? It's a formation of new substances. So it's irreversible. And now we're just going to go through solutions and formation of crystals. For example, solvent and solute. And the final is solution. Take an example of coffee. How to make coffee. So first you need coffee powder, obviously. And then you need sugar and you need water. So if you mix the three ingredients together, you have your final solution. So here we're going to look at forces. Force is something that causes an object to change um, acceleration or velocity. And as you all may see um, below the diagram, that's the balanced and unbalanced forces. That's the digestive system. It's a small diagram. Why do we need energy? I mean, why do we need food? We need food because to have energy, growth and repair. So cells in the microscope. I'm just going to flick over a few pages because this is going to take like the whole day <laughs> to go in detail. So take an example of acids and bases. This is also another chapter. So guys, if you want me to go through a specific chapter, I will surely just comment down below and let me know and I will definitely surely go through in one video the whole chapter. So that's the materials and states of matter and elements, mixtures and compounds. This is like the part um, of the periodic table. Take hydrogen, oxygen, magnesium and stuff like that. That's, they're all the elements, okay? They're not compounds, they're elements. So here, um, this is the junior certificate science exam questions, which invades graphs. So, I mean, involves graphs. That's just a practice one. It shows the directions. And here we have the periodic table, the most important in science. So periodic table, it shows all the elements and all the compounds all the metals, non-metals, transition metals, and it's just countless, I guess. That's the chemical world. And summer exam revision worksheet I got from my science teacher. So yeah, I got two questions and the rest of them correct. So that means I did learn something. <laughs> yep. So that's the um, gas exchange. What is gas exchange? So next we're going to look at speed, velocity, and acceleration. How do we measure speed? You need distance traveled and divide that by time taken. So basically divide distance by time and you get the speed. Simple as that. And there, that, that's like a small triangle that you can remember. DST, multiply, divide, stuff like that. So that's the chemical reaction. Water cycle and carbon cycle, condensing, evapor no, first the evaporation, condensation, and then the clouds turn into something, something. So as you all may see, just follow these steps. I mean, to learn, obviously. Chemical reaction involving carbon dioxide. Properties of materials. Um, the carbon cycle, just have a quick glance. So here I'm going to go through my CBA that I did last year. It's on how to investigate the effect of different substances on rusted metal. So I'm just going to take it out from my folder and go through over it. So turn the page and that's the introduction of my CBA. 
The investigation is about the effect of different substances on rusted metal. Example, take um, coke, bleach, white vinegar helps take the rust off the metal. Rust is the crumbly brown material which is caused by the chemical reaction of iron, water, and oxygen and stuff like that. You can read it on. So that's my background research. And I, I'm not going to read this. If you want, you can. It's very long and it takes time. So that was my background and I'm just going to flip over the page. And that's the preparation and planning of my in CBA and the equipments. I have the pictures of the equipment in the next pages. Hypothesis and the procedure of the CBA. How do you like the investigation? Then here I have the equipment's pictures. And that's my recorded data for each um, material that I took as to investigate. <clears throat> that's my calculations and data analysis conclusion and my finally you comment so that's my cba i'm just gonna go quick glance atomic structure that was my another report how to investigate the effect of exercise on heart rate This is she that I got from first year. So the Big Bang Theory. You may all know what Big Bang is. If you don't know it, then please comment. So I'll go over the full chapter. That's the Earth space. Oh God, I have so much notes. And this is another revision sheet that I made before myself. Um, it's on exothermic and endothermic reactions. So that's basically like the energy diagram profile thing. Exothermic and endothermic, you may all see the diagrams. The two diagrams. That's the world population growth. sustainability see my teachers and um, whenever we're starting a new chapter they give us a big take booklet of the whole um, information written down in the chap of the chapter in that booklet so it's easier for us to revise but since um the lockdown is here um all the schools Public facilities are closed, so we're better. <laughs> we're not really getting that motivation. You may all understand that, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're not really like getting that much notes. We have to make it by ourselves, so that's kind of a bit hard. And plus, this year, m this is my state exam was supposed to go on, but. I think it's getting cancelled. We're not really sure. So, yep, very sad times. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. Till then, have a good day, stay safe and stay tuned. Bye!